Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to learn about primitive network. So it's a set of unconnected branches of a given network is called primitive network. So this is an electrical network. Okay. Electrical network. So this electrical network is having six branches all the six were having different elements or different values of inferences. Okay, so if I want to split, so I can split like this. So before going to split uh, the every branch, so we need to understand how many nodes are there. So here we having one, two, three nodes, including uh, and also the reference node zero. Okay, so in total we are having four nodes. So we can have uh, the impedance Z4 which was connected between node 1 and node 2. Okay, so this is one uh, primitive network. Okay, so one un it's not primitive network but is of unconnected branch. Okay, so now we can have uh, um, the impedance Z6 okay between node 1 and node 3 so like that you can form all the six branches into unconnected set okay so for any given network we can represent any unconnected branch in two forms the first form is impedance form And obviously, the second form will be admittance form. Okay. So, we are having imprints form as well as admittance form. Let us represent the network component in both these forms. Okay. Now, coming to the impedance form. Okay. So let us consider two nodes. So this is node P. Okay, so this is node Q. So whose voltages are EP and EQ. So the impedance form is like uh, one voltage source. Let us have this uh, expression as EPQ in series with some impedance ZPQ. Okay, so now the voltage across the uh, nodes PQ will be considered as VPQ. From our uh, basic electrical terminology, this is EP minus EQ. Now, the current passing through this element PQ will be considered as IPQ. This form is called admit impedance form. Okay, so now uh, we can represent in admittance form also. So in admittance form, if I consider the same nodes, okay, so it should be rep uh, represented by like this. Okay, so PQ nodes we have considered the voltage node voltage at node P will be considered as EP. Similarly, on Q node, so it will be taken as EQ. So, this admittance is YPQ. So, this will be connected in parallel with a current source JPQ like this. Okay, so the current passing through this element, let us assume it as IPQ. So, here the source current is entering towards the, this node. Okay, so this node is nothing but node P. Okay, so uh, what is the amount of current passing through this uh, admittance YPQ? So simply this current is nothing but IPQ plus JPQ. So that current will travel through the admittance. So after this node, okay, so it is going to be split into two parts. So, this current is again the source current JPQ and this current is IPQ. Okay, so now the voltage across the element PQ will be considered as 
EPQ. So here also we may write it as EP minus EQ. So this form is called admittance form. Okay. So this form is called admittance form. So these are the two forms. So and next we are going to understand the performance of the components expressed uh, by using either imprints form or admittance form. Okay, so in order to have that kind of uh, analysis, we need to understand the terminology behind the uh, uh, idea. Okay, so let us go with the terminology. So here, um, VPQ is the voltage. So this is the voltage across the element PQ. Now EPQ. So this is the source voltage so where it was connected so in the imprints form it was connected in series with the element pq now what is ipq so ipq is the current passing through the element okay so passing through the element pq now what is jpq so this is a source current and where it was connected it was connected in parallel with the admittance in admittance form and what is zpq this is the self impedance of the element this is the self impedance of the element pq now what is ypq so this is called the self admittance of the element pq so here we need to understand uh, a very important point that ipq comma vpq so these are all called variables okay so now zpq and ypq so these are all called parameters okay so there is a difference variables and parameters okay so now coming to the performance equations so how the performance equations can be understood and all let us see in detail okay now coming to the uh, first form that is impedance form okay consider the impedance form so for our convenience i'm drawing here again so this is node p it was connected to a source of epq in series with some impedance zpq to the node q so here is ep and here is eq so these are the node voltages now here the voltage is vpq Clear? so this is plus this is minus so uh, and uh, again here we forgot to write the current so this is ipq so for our convenience i am redrawing this particular network in this way so carefully this is epq okay so this point is p node p whose voltage is ep okay so now uh, the positive plate of this EPQ was connected to the impedance. We can represent like this. This is ZPQ. The other point was connected to node Q. So whose voltage is EQ. And we have already uh, has considered that uh, the voltage difference between these two nodes or the voltage across these two nodes was this voltage was vpq isn't it yes so this is plus and this is minus so this is the current which is coming out from the source so this is ipq now the current we all know very well the current always flows from higher to lower potential okay now simply what we can apply now we can apply kvl kirchhoff's voltage law 
Now starting from the impedance, what you can get? Voltage that is ZPQ into IPQ is equal to just follow the current direction. So first you are getting negative terminal whose voltage is VPQ. So you may write it as don't write equal to here. So we'll be writing in a single uh, uh, on one side only expression. So you get minus VPQ. So that was over. The next element that you that is coming on our path is EPQ. So the first polarity according to the current direction that you're getting is minus. So that's why take it as minus EPQ equal to zero. No other element is there. Now if we can rearrange what we can get, we can get VPQ plus EPQ equal to ZPQ into IPQ, call it as equation 1. So this is the performance equation of the component in impedance form. Now coming to the admittance form, okay. Now for our convenience, I am redrawing here. So this is our node P whose voltage uh, is EP. So this is our admittance connected to node Q. So whose voltage is EQ, this is admittance YPQ and here is our current source, okay. This is JPQ, so this current is IPQ, so this current is JPQ, so some current is flowing through the admittance. Now here the node voltage is VPQ, clear, yeah? so this is plus minus. Now at this particular node, let us assume this node as node X. Okay, so at node X, what we can apply? We can apply KCL, that is Kirchhoff's current law. So that means IPQ is equal to, so one more current which is also entering to node X. What was that? So that was the current source JPQ. So these two are the currents entering towards the node X. Now, which is equal to the current flowing through the admittance YPQ, isn't it? Yes. So, we all know very well that V equal to IZ at constant temperature according to Ohm's law. Now, what is Z? Z is V by I. Now, what is Y? The reciprocal of impedance. So, Y will be considered as I by V. Now, what is I? That is YV. We are exactly using this relation. Now, instead of this current, what we can write? YPQ voltage, so that means admittance into voltage, that is VPQ, that is the voltage across that admittance. Okay, so now I'm uh, redrawing, uh, rearranging here, like what, what I can write now. So I can write it as IPQ plus JPQ is equal to YPQ. V P Q. So call it as equation two. So these uh, the second equation. So what is the second equation? This is the performance equation of the element in admittance form. So now here we need to understand one point that we are going to express uh, the um, variables. What are the variables? Voltages and currents. So we are going to express the variables in terms of vectors and parameters as matrices okay so if we express so then what we can get let us okay so for our convenience i'm calling back the equation one here so what is the equation one so this is vpq plus epq is equal to zpq into ipq so this is our first equation so uh, the variables that is voltage is a variable right so it can be represented by a vector like this and e so this is also voltage represented by the vector e okay so now the impedance this is a parameter so represented by the matrix and the current which is represented by the vector now similarly from the second equation what is the second equation that is ipq plus jpq is equal to ypq into vpq so this is our second equation so this equation can be modified like 
So variables represented by the vectors like this. I vector plus J vector is equal to matrix Y into vector V. Okay, so in this way we can represent. Now coming to the uh, matrices, matrix Z and matrix Y. So in these matrices, the diagonal element will be considered as here, considered as self-impedance. Okay, so in the case of admittance, it will be called as self-admittance. Now, what the off-diagonal uh, off elements can be called? So here in Z, the off-diagonal will be called as mutual impedance. This is called mutual impedance. Or if you are having number of, it will be called as mutual impedances. Similarly, on uh, matrix Y, it will be called as mutual admittance. Okay. In this way, we need to understand the primitive network. So, I hope this uh, topic is clear for everyone. So, in coming videos, uh, we'll be having some more, uh, we'll be covering some more topics which are based on power system analysis like load flow solutions. Okay, so keep watching our channel and keep supporting. So, thank you so much for watching this video.